Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saver CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to create a closet style cabinet that has edge banding on it, and we're going to transfer the edge banding information by label to the edge bander operator. This is going to be a neat process. Not so long ago, I could hire an employee with cabinet making experience, and they knew a lot about how to build cabinets, and so you could assume, well, they know this and that. Well, it's not that way now, so we have to figure out how to make it easier for the employees that are available. In this project, we're going to create a cabinet, and it's actually a closet cabinet, so it's tall. It's at a white melamine. Uh, it's edge banded because it's frameless. and. Uh, we're going to add a little feature to it. KCD gives us the ability to actually put a label on each part. And of course, it tells the cabinet number what that part is. And it also shows a graphic so that it shows me which edge of the part gets edge banded. So now if I do that, then I can hand that part to the edge bander operator and they can look at that label and figure out how to edge band it. So the information is being transferred automatically. And if we use our marker pen attachment and an erasable marker, when it's all said and done, we can just erase that label off. Now, let me show you how I set that up in KCD. Okay, this is the product that we're going to make. Now, it's a, it could be a cabinet closet, so it's tall. It's got lots of shelves in it. There's actually a drawer on the bottom. So that's what we're actually going to be making, and we're looking at this in KCD. Now, let's look at a 2D view of the cabinet. So here's one view, and, of course, from the front will be that. Okay, let's select that cabinet. And basically, I changed the sizes so that uh, it used material better, and then I made one change down here to the sides. Okay, I, I made each end panel. By default, since there's nothing next to this cabinet, it would assume it's a finished end. I went ahead and changed it. I made each end panel unfinished ends. That gives me assembly screws, so that's why I did that. Now to output the nest, we go parts, select our construction method, go calculate. Okay, so here's the first nest. So there's your two end panels. And let's take a look at that. You can see up here, this is our construction method. So we've got blind dados. And then since it's an unfinished end, these are assembly holes. And uh, let's look at the next nest. Okay, once again, you can see the part. So there's three sheets. And this large sheet is going to be the back. Now, here's an example of looking at one part. For instance, this is a bottom panel. And you notice it says in the middle here, 1BT. Well, here, that means cabinet one. This means it's a bottom. And then this line means that this edge gets edge banded. So that's how we're going to transfer information. So this is going to get printed by the machine. So the part comes off the machine with this on it. That's actually going to be done with a pen or marker that's erasable. So the idea is that the operator of the edge banner can pick this piece up, look at that, and figure out this edge gets edge banded. That's all that we need. What you're seeing on the screen now is the actual G-code program that's generated for that first nest. So there'll be three of these, one for each nest. Now we'll send those out to the machine control and it will go out and we'll cut these three nests.
Our closet cabinet project came out really good. All the parts fit, it assembled great. You know, even the edge banding was really nice and it makes a beautiful product here. But you know, one of our goals was to figure out a way to transfer information to the edge bander operator and we did that through labeling. So now, since I used an erasable marker, now I can actually erase the label off all the parts. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.